All right, we're going to shoot this one this way. We are here at Mobile Beat Las Vegas 2019. Mobile Beat 23, we've got the day just about ending. The exhibit hall where they just had the finalists for the DJ to replace Jason Janai. They just finished that on the stage. You're hearing some Electro Voice demo here. We've been over and checking out the sound systems over on the other side in the demo rooms and such. We checked out a lot of the gear inside the room there. There's a lot of cool stuff in there for you guys to check out. We've got some videos and things that are going to be dropping in the next week. But I want to try to get this one up yet tonight. Wednesday, the Wednesday kind of a thing. Okay, so the recap of the day. First off, um, probably the highlight for the folks today was Mark Farrell doing his final uh, presentation here at Mobile Beat Las Vegas 23. Mark was on stage kind of sharing a little bit about getting what you're worth, kind of an updated version of it, and sharing the idea that as a, a entertainer, as a celebrity, that your value to the, the clients and such is where it's at, and how the whole getting what you're worth message and such. You can look at my video earlier today. I kind of did a synopsis of that. You can just look at uh, Mark Farrell, the, the uh, meaning of, of getting what you're worth. Look for that video. Other, other than that, there's been some, some content and such going on there. There's also been content going on upstairs. And Mike Walter, we've, you've heard us talk about his session in there. Well, one of the kind of a more of a flying under the radar is the, the kind of his MC microphone uh, event, MC more of that. He's doing a workshop upstairs. He's been doing a workshop over and over again with different people coming in and taking this. And it's a hands-on opportunity where you can go in there and actually work on some things. And then he will kind of coach you on some of the things. We saw Rob Frey up there earlier today when we walked in. He was doing a, a, a uh, an introduction of the wedding party. And, of course, then afterwards, then you've got uh, you've got... <laughs> The ability to go and get some coaching and critique from Mike Walter, who has trained DJs for a long time. He's been a DJ, received training. He's training DJs. He's a professional in that realm. He's got more marketing material, or I should say more educational material on training than anyone else in the industry. And you could have had some time with him up there. That was probably worth the price of your admission right there. And that doesn't even count what's gone on in the seminar room. Also, virtual. Uh, there's been a, um, a room where they've been teaching some virtual DJ things up there. So they've gone through how to do different aspects of it. Then there's been a mixing uh, room where they've talked about different things with organizing your music and mixing and, and how to do and get started with beat mixing, what have you. They've all had that going on up there. So you've had work. And then Ben Stowe, I mentioned Ben Stowe. Ben Stowe's been doing um, lighting, kind of a lighting things up there, getting you started with lighting and the more advanced lighting things and an audio. And he's been up there. So at times there were five different things going on here at Mobile Beat Las Vegas this year. And you've been able to take in some of these back and forth, whatever you wanted to do, it was available for you. In the in the exhibit hall, that was that was kind of a big thing over there because we've got you're seeing right now, you're seeing Rasha Rasha lighting. I'm gonna go here. Rasha lighting, there that's their lighting booth right there. There's uh, Rasha lighting, uh, JMOS lighting, and Adkins lighting there in there for lighting companies. I believe that's pretty much all of those. You've got the in music company. Go watch my video where I did the walk around. I pretty much went through and showed everything. And if you do the exhibit hall walk around video, there is one down on the YouTube playlist. Some neat stuff in there. Yes, some people are going to say that the exhibit hall is smaller and it's missing some people. That's the reality of where our industry is going. Nothing against the manufacturers, but it's called the Amazon effect. And Amazon and some other things have really changed the way these shows are going to be run here in the future. This is going to evolve, as all shows will and do, because of things like Amazon and Facebook and marketing and how that's all kind of come to come to a head here. And we're starting to see some of that at the shows. We had a wonderful crowd here for this year's show. People have been excited. And we still have one more day. We've got Thursday with the educational. Now, the exhibit hall will be shut down. I'm going to be doing some stuff. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll have better internet in here. It was terrible today. Typically, we've been live streaming a little bit. We couldn't do anything today. So it's been recorded. And we put a couple of things up, and that's been about it. But tomorrow I'm going to be in here, and those of you who are here in Vegas, we're going to try to talk to a few more of you and get your thoughts of the week and get you ready so we can drop these shows next week. We've got a lot of a lot of great content already that we've recorded, and we're going to be doing some more again on Thursday. And then it's our flight home to Minnesota because I've got to work this weekend. So once again, uh, at Mobile Beat Las Vegas here. Hope you guys can make it next year to be with us. Things are going to be a little bit different as they are year to year, and we're really excited about some of the changes that they're looking at bringing to the industry in 2020 here at Mobile Beat Las Vegas. Thank you guys for watching. This is John Young with the Disjockey News and Disjockey News TV. Catch you later.